My friend hosts plenty of videos because he has pay-per-view VOD site. Until now, he used WordPress on a dedicated server, but he was unhappy with performance. He asked me for help and I decided that I will decouple videos from WordPress and then I will optimize the website, but we need to put these videos somewhere. I've looked for the best options and I decided to try Bunny Stream. In this video, I will share my experiences, some major problems, and you will know how well it works in production on a site that is generating some big money. Why Bunnystream out of all options? On the paper, they look the best. They have free encoding, very cheap volume traffic, replication, and even free DRM option, which successfully blocks video downloaders, video plugins, more on that later. Registration process is not only very easy, but also you get 13 days free trial with one terabyte limit. We started to upload some videos and here we encountered one small problem. You can only upload via browser or API. There is no other options like FTP or AirSync. We didn't have the best experience with browser uploading because transfer was floating from 5 megabits per second to 1 gigabit per second. Speed was unstable, but at the end, whole process was pretty fast and we quickly gone above 1 terabyte of uploaded videos. Then I wanted to check what can I tweak in settings and here I saw a big problem. Replication settings, because once enabled, replication zones cannot be disabled. My friend accidentally enabled all of them and there is no going back. He didn't want to pay $15 for one terabyte. So yeah, I've contacted Bunny and asked if they could change it or at least duplicate his videos into another collection with different settings. Answer was no. Only way to change replication settings is to upload everything once again. And once again we need to upload uh, from browser, which isn't ideal in terms of performance. Also, if you upload uh, videos again, embedded codes for your website will change. So yeah, that was very painful to fix and I would love if Bunny could work on it. Requiring user to delete all data and upload once again is not a great design, especially when there is no way to reconnect all the short codes that you embedded on your site. Enough of replication, let's talk about DRM. Bunny has pretty nice feature that allows you to encrypt video files so they cannot be downloaded in traditional way. It is not based on Apple Fairplay or Google Whitefine, so it's purely software-based encryption. And it works by sending encrypted chunks of video together with decryption key. Key itself isn't encrypted, it is just a clear key that you can intercept, so downloading and then decrypting video is possible. Possible, but traditional plugins or traditional downloaders cannot do it. But remember that it's not hardware-based encryption like Apple Fairplay or Google Whitefine, so you can easily bypass this whole DRM just by screen capture or HDMI capture card. Still, I think it's amazing because it works for most common piracy technique and it costs zero dollars. There is also option to block unauthorized access by using tokens, but I didn't use this option as I already have similar thing implemented in WordPress. Encoding is probably the biggest selling point of Bunny Stream because it is completely free, but I wouldn't say it's the best. You can change what resolutions you need, you can change bitrate, but you cannot set your own resolutions or audio bitrate. Good thing is that this doesn't matter that much because even if it says 3830 by 2160, it will still adapt to video aspect ratio. For example, my friend has some vertical videos and instead of regular 2160p, he gets vertical option. So I think Bunny should write something like 3840 pixels on a longer side, because this is how it works in reality and that's how it should work. One small thing that I don't like is that you cannot stream original videos, only transcoded ones, but they probably don't want you to mix 
chunked HLS or Dash stream with typical MP4 files and deal with compatibility issues. So how it works in practice? Apart from things that I mentioned before, zero additional problems and I was blown away because it works really that great. Player works perfectly on all platforms. If you click on timeline, you see updated image instantly, zero delay, and that's on their cheaper volume traffic option. I don't even see why would you want to switch to more expensive traffic if cheaper ones already work so great. My friend is also super happy from this switch to Bunnystream because it fixes all problems that viewers had with WordPress player plugin that he used before. So in conclusion, Bunnystream is the best solution if you want the easiest video hosting. You don't need to think about compatibility of formats, you don't need to think about replication, you don't need to think about outrageous traffic pricing. Only thing that is pushing me away from recommending it for everyone our limitation on admin side. Also, I would love more customization options for encoding. Maybe different codecs, maybe option to have lossless audio, two different bitrates for one resolution, just like YouTube now has 1080p and higher bitrate 1080p premium. But most importantly, option to allow playback of original videos without transcoding, just like on Twitch. Okay, they have technical reason why it's not allowed, because people would upload videos in AV1 or H.265 and expect browser playback support everywhere, but you know, maybe hide it under advanced experimental option or something like that. Because there are technical people using your product, so allow them to not lose quality because of additional transcode. Overall, I love this product and I will heavily recommend it to try it out. It has 13 days free trial, so you can test it out for yourself if it's correct product for your use case. If they would fix these small problems that I had, especially lack of uploading options, then I would instantly recommend it for basically everyone, because pricing for Bunnystream is completely amazing. That's all for today, have a nice day!